How you guys doing today? Adventures with Hayes. Here with the review for the Keen Mid Top Ridge Flex Waterproof Boot. Right, so uh, this is my second review on these. Uh, when I first uh, did a review on them, I, I had just bought them. So um, I could only tell you guys what I knew about them based on the first few hours, day, week, etc. Right, so now I am well over 100 plus miles in these uh as you guys can see if you've kept up with me um and i will say these boots are amazing um there was one video uh i think it was me hiking the potawatomi trail where i did think uh that i i had blisters on my foot but it wasn't blisters uh it was just my sock rubbing up against my foot so um I have to go back and make sure that I make that known that um, I've yet to get blisters in these. Um, I did read some reviews that said uh, up here on the rubber part, uh, it starts cracking for some people. Well, um, I am 200 pounds, uh, 5'11", 200 pounds to be exact. Um, so I don't know what other people are doing, but like I said, uh, I'm way over 200 pounds. Um, I, I go pretty hard I'm a former football player uh, so you know like I said I don't know what other people are doing but I know I go pretty dang hard in whatever equipment and gear that I use um, so I don't know maybe you know people are letting them dry out and whatnot maybe that's the thing if it dries out but overall good traction um, as you can see there's mud still caked on these, but not a thing. Uh, the waterproof feature, grade A. I think I've had these up to about here. Up to about here, uh, which is about mid-level on the boot, uh, up in the water, which I'm gonna show you guys uh, after I'm done doing this review. I'm gonna walk around uh, parts of this trail and just show you guys some of the features that I like. So, um, yeah. Like I said, uh, they are uh, waterproof. Um, they have this uh, self-cleaning thing uh, where I cut grass in these. Um, what else have I done? Like I said, yeah, I've cut grass in them. Uh, obviously, I go hiking. Um, I go, I've been in the sand in them. And every time I wear them, after like two or three days, the whole bottom is absolutely clean. So I don't know what kind of system they got going on. Uh, but it's working. Uh, the leather is holding up pretty well, as you guys can see. Um, let's see what else. Uh, there's obviously some nicks and whatnot there, so stuff like that, that's going to happen. Not a big deal. The insides, all good still. Uh, so these do fit true to size. Um, I wear a size usually 11 and a half. I can wear an 11 through 12 depending on the shape of the shoe. Uh, King did a great job as well as um, they offered a wider toe box. So like I said, this is a 12. I usually wear about an 11 and a half for a hiking boot. Um, but I wanted something uh, where, cause I wear thicker socks to hike in. So I wanted something uh, that would give my toes that freedom to uh, open up, you know what I'm saying? So these definitely offer that uh, free range motion and the toe box is not too tight uh, like what you get with a lot of boots these days um, and uh, yeah definitely over a hundred miles in these well over a hundred miles these boots have not let me down one time uh, just like I said overall great boots uh, five out of five so far for me like I said no problems no bad wear and tear wearing them on gravel worn them on 20 plus mile hikes uh i've worn them what's like i said sand to cut grass in you name it and they've uh performed beyond my expectations so another feature that i like is the uh system here where they have the tongue uh sewn basically to the side of the boot so uh when i'm out doing yard work sometimes because i either you know leave my work boots i'm um, at home or these are just what i have in the truck uh you don't get like wood chips 
happening, you know, on the top of your foot. You know, if you ever had that happen, you know how annoying that can be. If you're doing a job or you're out hiking and you got rocks and wood chips that just keep getting, you know, wedged in the top of your foot. So that's awesome. I do love that. Uh, they do have this. Let's see if I can. They have some good padding. Here, let's open these up a little bit for you guys. So there's a, a yellow pad in there on the ankle for extra support on the Achilles tendon. Uh, feels amazing. Um, but like I said, all around five out of five on these boots. I really do not have a complaint. Uh, only thing I have to recommend is offer a higher boot. I would like uh, an even higher boot, you know what I'm saying, for better ankle support maybe if I'm doing, you know, uh, climbing rocks or trekking some tougher terrain than what I already do. So, yeah. All right, you guys, let's roll. Show you guys. This is where we're at, one of the local parks that I admire. Um, so I'm going to do a lap around this pond here, uh, walk through some of the water and mud, uh, and just show you guys, like I said, what they look like on foot, uh, the, the bendiness in them. <laughs> Not the bendiness, but, you know, the flexibility on them. Um, and just show you, you know, how they perform. So, like I said, in terms of waterproof, they're pretty dang good. Up past the logo. You guys can see just how deep I am in these. And when you pull them out, they look good. They still look good, y'all. Good traction. So, like I said, just came out the water. You hear the traction working on them. Foot got stuck. Good protection on the side. Didn't feel it. Didn't phase me at all. That leather's good. That rubber toe box has a nice uh, extra padding. If you kick, you know, a log or kick a rock, boulder, anything like that. And if you gotta, if you gotta get up and go. Foot ain't moving around too much. They laced up good. And like I said, fresh out the water. They ain't got all that mud caked up on them. I don't know what kind of self-cleaning thing they got going on. But me being a fashion guy out in nature, I like to keep my stuff looking fresh still. You feel me? I like getting dirty, but I still like it to look good while it's dirty, so... Yeah. Flex, that's what they talking about, the ridge flex. So, giving you that ability to lunge if you need to. Pivot if you need to. 
Ooh. What I also like is they're a quiet shoe, so they're not clunky. They don't make a bunch of noise. Oftentimes you see those boots that you end up wearing them and you because they just so big and boxy. Not with these. It's a an athletic shoe. I almost feel like I'm wearing a football cleat or a basketball shoe in a sense. My buddy, my buddy Turnbull just pulled up in this beast. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like I was saying, so now that they're dry, you literally would not even know that I trekked through the mud. They just look like, you know, obviously some mud stuck there, but it was all the way up to here, you know what I'm saying? And clean, clean. No rips, no separation yet anywhere that I can see of. That's what it's about for me. Great craftsmanship. Like I said, I'm 5'11", 200 pounds. Uh, that can range from 200 to 220, depending on if it's winter, <laughs> summer, you know. But uh, yeah, like overall, a perfect boot. Um, only, like I said, the only thing I would recommend is uh, them uh, offering a higher boot in this same model, which that's just me nitpicking and finding something for the you know extra for them to offer and uh just offering a thicker sole maybe something with a little more bounce to it but once like i said once again that's me nitpicking and just finding things for them to offer us that you know i would like personally but yeah keen keen good job y'all good job y'all holler back at me man i need every pair every color y'all got i need the low tops if y'all drop a hot top pair, send them to me, please. I need another pair of the regular Ridge Flex, the mid tops. Please. King hook a brother up.